So we study how to implement a stack ADT using uh, the array, uh, fixed size array more precisely. And we know that every operation is really uh, efficient in terms of a constant amount of time asymptotically, except that we have a space, we have a size limit in terms of the maximum capacity, which is not very flexible for us while talking about realistic application. It would be very nice if we can somehow grow the collection for the stack dynamically. And that's exactly what a singly linked list can actually try uh, attempt to address. But let's take a look. And you can also find the source code for a singly linked list uh, implementation. You can look at the link stack over here. And this is talking about strategy number one. And I will explain what's really strategy number one versus number two. But you can definitely look at the source code yourself. Okay. But I'm going to just summarize about what you should really know for the singly linked list uh, implementation. I will also suggest at the end some exercise for you to think about whether adopt, uh, whether changing or try to ex uh, uh, trying to extend the uh, singly linked list into doubly linked list could be beneficial in terms of the writing time. That's something you can think about as well. Let's talk about the implementation. So we got uh, the link stack, which is uh, pretty much like an array stack, and they are implementing the uh, the stack interface over here. Right? If you recall the architecture diagram that we spoke spoke about earlier so this is so important for you to remember right we talk about array stack in the last video and the current video we are talking about this uh implementing class over here right okay and here i'm only showing to you that we have a private attributes of type singly linked list generic one and also the list attributes so any method that you want to support uh uh you, to implement the uh, stack interface methods like a pop push top, size, is empty, etc. They should be defined in terms of the list over here. Rather than showing you the code, I, I would like to talk about two different strategies of implementation using the singly linked list. And then you can think about whether using a doubly linked list instead will actually help on the performance. That's something I'll leave to you as the extra exercise. Right, so the question is, we want to see whether strategy number one will work better or strategy number two. Right, let me talk about the both strategies over here quickly. All right, so we got strategy number one and also number two over here. So the critical line you want to pay attention to, I mean highlight it to you, is about how to implement the top, right? Remember earlier uh, in the last video, I asked you the question about for that particular array implementation over here, how are we treating the top of the uh, stack? So the way the way to look at that is by looking at the top method over here, and we're simply simply returning the data at top index t rather than at index zero. So that means we are not really treating the beginning of the array as as the top of the stack. It's not the case, right? So that would be the exercise for you for the last video to think about. What if I want to treat index zero as the uh, top of the stack, right? That's something I want to remind you. You should really try to do the exercise. Now. Uh, for the linked list uh, implementation, we want to also look at the top. So for strategy number one, we are really talking about the first of the list should be treated as the top of the stack. For strategy number two, the last node or the tail of the uh, list should be treated as the top of the stack. Now I want you to look at strategy number one and strategy number two. If I tell you that this particular singly linked list is really adopting strategy number one to implement the stack ADT. And this linked list over here, which is identical to this one over here, just a duplicate of each other somehow. However, this one is adopting strategy number two. Now, if I ask you what would be the top of the stack for this strategy number one and strategy number two, you will see the difference. It will not be the same, even though the singly linked list is really the same. But depending on how you really do the interpretation, you want to stay consistent. Let's see exactly. So here we say uh, for strategy number one, the first element there should be, the first node should be the top of the stack. So that means this one over here is the top of the stack. This is the first one, right? So this will be the top of the stack. Versus over here for strategy number two, the tail over here should be the top of the stack. And let's say a little bit more. And we know that stack actually uh, satisfy the, uh, the level property, the top of the stack. So that would suggest the order in which we actually, uh, the order in which 
we pushed uh, the element into the stack should be this one first, followed by this and followed by that, right? And in the strategy number two, we know that the order should be this one was the latest added element into the stack and then followed by this one and followed by this one. So even though the list looks the same, but I didn't really give you the context about which strategy it is. Once I gave that to you, you should really do the uh, interpretation accordingly. Hopefully you're seeing my point over here, right? I chose the example deliberately to be the same on the, li on the list level, but depending on the strategy you're adopting, they should be interpreted accordingly. Okay, let's see everything else. So what about in the case of the size? Well, just return the size of the list. One, two, three in this case, and also one, two, three in this case, all good. Whether or not it's empty, you can just call it it's empty method for the list, easy. What about push and pop? So that'd be the interesting one. If I want to push, if I want to push, that means uh, whatever I push into should be the new top, right? So now in strategy number one over here, let me see, strategy number one, if I want to do push, if I want to push a new note, for example, if I got a note over here, let me just, uh, for illustration, let me say Alan Mark and Tom, what about Jim? Let's say this note over here stores Jim, right? If I want to push a new note, should I add this note here as the first element or as the last element? Which one? Well, since after I have added Jim into here, in that case, the front of the list should be should become the top of the stack. And if I do it this way, it will be okay. Instead, if I add a gym to the tail of the list, in that case, after I've done this, according to the strategy number one in interpretation, the first of the list will be the top of, of the stack. That will remain to be the Allen, which is wrong, right? There's something you, can, uh, you should really uh, pay attention to, right? If I say gym, in that case, I should really make sure Jim is actually going to point to over here and the head is actually going to point to Jim over here. And this will be the new top. Okay, so the top of the stack conceptually, right? Similarly, if I want to add, I want to push for strategy number two, right? Let's say for this case, again, if I have, let's say the node over here, also Jim. Should I add Jim, let's say, to the front of the list? In that case, after I've done this, what, where is the top? According to strategy number two, it should still be Tom, which is wrong. So I should add Jim, the, the node, to, uh, to the tail, into the list, right? That's what I should do, right? If I do that, so I can, I can make sure the next is really pointing to over here, and Jim is actually pointing to now, conceptually. So this will be the new top if I try to push, right? Symmetrically, if I try to pop, I should really re remove wherever the top is. So since I add, always I add first uh, to really uh, push onto the top. So I should really remove first. So uh, and for strategy number two, since I add last to really push onto the top, so I should really remove last. And I'm not sure if you are sensitive about uh, what method we're using, but for singly linked list, Whenever you see um, uh, the use of remove last, you will know that it should be a no-no whenever it's avoidable, right? Because we know very well, in the case of singly linked list, the remove last is the method that we set that will take linear amount of time. Whereas, if you look at the at first, remove first, at last, and re uh, well, uh, first, last, at first, remove last is empty size. Everything other than remove last, simply just big of one. So this is the only operation that's going to be linear time. So in that case, should you choose strategy number one or strategy number two? Well, in that case, if we are talking about a singly linked list, by all means, you should really choose strategy number one because that will guarantee your pop method will be still remain to be constant. Right, that's uh, one thing you should really notice. This one over here instead will be constant amount of time. How can we improve strategy, strategy number two if we like it so much, we really want it? In that case, one alternative would be if you actually uh, promote this from a singly linked list into a doubly linked list. Remember in the doubly linked list, you will be able to get to the second last node rather easily using the previous reference of 
uh, well, you can use the previous of previous of the uh, trailer node. In that case, this will be improved drastically into big O of one, right? Let me just write down ins uh, that insight over there. You can think about it, okay? Okay, so this can be improved to big O of one. So you can see now we are starting to apply our earlier knowledge about the basic data structure array singly linked list and doubly linked list you should really make sure it's really running in your head to really make sure it's activated improve to big of one if a doubly linked list is used and the reason i'm not going to write it down but for the re uh, the reason for this is because for the remove last you can simply get to the second last node quite easily using the previous previous uh, axis that'll be uh, big of one right so improve to big of one if a doubly linked list is used okay right so that's about the uh, singly linked list uh, implementation I would like to talk about right so which implementation strategy should you should be chosen well by all means you should really go for strategy number one as we said before okay and let's uh, have some quick discussion if the front of the list is treated as the top of the stack, strategy number one, in that case, all the stack operation will just be constant, right? And because remove first takes uh, only big of one, you can see for the pop operation, remove first is a uh, constant, whereas remove last will be big of n, linear time. But if the end of the list is treated as the top of, of the stack, strategy number two, in that case, the pop operation will take a linear because the remove last will take linear time unless you promote your current list into doubly linked list to really activate the uh, previous reference. But it depends on whether you can do it or not. Okay? And in both cases, given that a linked dynamic structure is really used, no resizing is necessary. Right. So now I want you to go back to this original architecture over here, right? Let, let's now do some uh, further annotation over here. The first one over here, array stack, right? So the first implementation, let's think about the pros and cons. Okay, for the first one over here, so all, all the operations is efficient. Big of one, number one. However, number two, inflexible by a preset size. So that's a drawback that we would like to improve. And this is something I will address about that uh, using dynamic array later in the lecture. Okay. And let's talk about the uh, linked list uh, implementation quickly. Okay. Just for completeness. So what about the link uh, the link stack implementation? Right? So here we talk about strategy number one and two. So strategy number one is good. All the operations big O of one. However, for strategy number two, the pop is actually big O of N. Unless you use a doubly linked list. I'm writing a little bit more simp uh, uh, more simply, but you, you, if you follow along my discussion, you will know what exactly I meant, right? I try to include everything that I was spoke about. Strategy number one, strategy number two. So when you are faced with a decision, you should really know which strategy you should really choose. But if somehow you know that for your application, you don't really use the pop operation a lot. In that case, having a linear, uh, having strategy number two may not be too bad given that pop is not really used a lot. On the other hand, if your application uses a lot of pop operation, in that case, you should either choose strategy number one or it should really uh, promotes to a doubly linked list in order to use strategy number two.